some of the cool conditions that happened uh, that allowed uh, the snow to freeze onto the lines. Some ice buildup attracted snow and stuck onto it. Now that thing is dancing around like crazy. Maybe some trees will come down today somewhere. Maybe people will lose power just from this kind of phenomenon. So, uh, you know, be ready for that. It's just before 11 a.m. now on February 2nd and the sky has just opened right up. Look to the high cirrus clouds and see the change that's coming. Their, their axis is east to west, so that kind of tells us that uh, north-south is the way that the weather is actually moving above us. And we're going to start seeing that uh, northerly push in as it uh, hooks around the high pressure blob that's forcing it northward and to spin down into the interior from the north on its southward bent. So what am I doing today? Well, my truck is broken down, so uh, I have no four-wheel drive anymore, so I'm not cutting firewood, but there is another job I can do before this big round of snow comes on Thursday and Saturday, is I can uh, shovel Marcel and Peggy's garage roof off. So uh, I'm off to do that today, and while we're there, we can have a great look at the different layers of snowpack. We had about... Uh Maybe five fresh centimeters overnight last night, maybe 10 centimeters altogether here yesterday in Wells. This is my house. Got this nice picture from uh, Corey Marshall in Vail Mount this morning, showing uh, the fresh snow. That's just the other side of the mountains from here. Uh, yesterday, Phil Gunther, my friend from uh, down in Salmo, good buddy, sent me these photos, uh, just showing uh, some of the beautiful snowfall they had down there in the Kootenays this past uh, couple days. Uh, Jamie Delves just posted this picture in the group and uh, was saying how she felt the wind was coming out of the northwest suddenly and that is the case. That's the way this uh, atmospheric river is going to bend in on us. I'm about to go and shovel some snow. Let's uh, check it out. What's all too common here in Wells, BC is that you don't uh, use a brush to shovel your car off. It would take you way too long. In order to get into Marcel and Peggy's driveway, of course I got no four wheel drive. Luckily Fred was already here plowing, so I'm just waiting him out. Roof shoveling something I do a lot for money here in Wells. And uh, this winter it's been such a low snow load, I've not uh, really been able to do any snow shoveling of roofs. So I'm hoping February is a big one because I need the money. My truck's broken. I can't even go sell firewood. So uh, hopefully I get the snowfall in the meantime that I can keep working. And uh, it was nice of Peggy and Marcel to leave a ladder out for me this time. A lot of people don't do that. So here's a little bit of how snowpack works. We can see this is all the fresh snow right here in the last few days. So there's a slab layer there now in the Caribou Mountains. I can just poke it and it just pops. There's your avalanche layer that's fallen since uh, this last weekend. So you can see that fresh slab just breaks off in big chunks. There you go, look at that one. There's your slab, that's what's gonna come at you down the mountain. It's gonna break into tiny pieces and turn into a cement wall that you're stuck in. This lower level, <coughs> nice hard layer. It's not moving. So it's this layer, that's the base, and this top layer, that's your danger zone. Now I'm on a roof of a house, but you can see each of these lines in here, I mean, they're, this isn't very well defined, but in here you can see, here's one snowfall, here's a snowfall, here's a snowfall, and then here's last night's snowfall right there. So you have evidence of all the past snow and what you see is that the weight of the snow compresses it way down. So uh, this is only up to my thighs, this depth of snow, but we know that uh, seven or nine feet is so far fallen this year in Wells and you can see it's all squished down in this layer that's had ice and had water in it that uh, froze up and over the time it's been there. This is even a little better. I'm deeper in now and the snow is deeper because uh, at the edge it kind of melts off a bit. So last night, the day before, the day before, last couple snowfalls, 
a big one there, our last big run of snowfall. Then here's the, so that's their slab layer there. You can dig right underneath it. There's our slab layer. Boom, avalanche. Now in the middle of the roof, you can see it's the best, uh, best gauge of what the snow is actually like out there. And look at this slab. Just comes out in big slabs. So that's what's becoming unstable now. The snow conditions have changed with the warming and the cooling that's happening right now. We're up above zero, it feels like. Well, it is in the sun, the air might not be above zero, but that's how we, find ourselves uh, with snow conditions that are dangerous and unstable. Fresh snow, changing temperatures. Cowabunga!